Welcome to Upfront on the Voice of America. My name is Jackson Vungani. Now, now, according to the World Health Organization, malaria kills over 400,000 people each year in sub-Saharan Africa. But a young entrepreneur in Burundi seeks to reduce those numbers using cosmetics. Arash Arabasadi brings us the story of Ginet Kirekinyana, who developed a line of cosmetics that keeps away malaria-carrying mosquitoes. Check her out. In her garden in the capital of Burundi, Jeanette Carrera Kinyana is growing plants she uses in cosmetics. But this is more than just makeup. These moringa, jatropha, and catnip plants repel one of the world's deadliest insects. The products are aimed at preventing malaria and finding ways to tackle it because it has a huge impact on the development of our country. The products also allow me to create employment to put value on our environment and to provide natural products to prevent mosquito bites. Carrera Kenyana researched medicine and the environment while studying in Canada. She returned to Burundi in 2010 and experimented with different locally grown plants to develop a range of mosquito repelling soaps. I have not had malaria in years. I even use their products like the soap and the oils when my children are sick. According to the American Chemical Society, plants like catnip contain ingredients that can reduce mosquito bites in test subjects by up to 91 percent. Carrera Kenyana's customers cheer both the product and their source. I liked the fact that they are all plant-based and made from locally sourced ingredients. I used to get malaria at least twice a year, but ever since I started using these products, I have not fallen sick in at least three years. People have come to understand our message and have come to see that malaria is a serious disease and that we can fight against malaria with local products. Karira Kenyana began her business with three employees. She now has more than 20. She says she plans to expand across Burundi and focus on rural areas where many people lack affordable health care and medicine. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.